when you run out of people to prospect in your network marketing business, who do you talk to? It's really simple. Start prospecting strangers to build your MLM business. What? Approach people you don't know? I totally get how you feel. I used to think exactly the same way. But then I learned some concepts that really got rid of my fears. Every person in network marketing has a warm market of people they know. Do you agree? So the next step is to start approaching your cold market. Turn them into your warm market. So today I've got some tips on how you can overcome your fears and be successful at prospecting strangers wherever you go. Here's your three tips for prospecting strangers in network marketing. Number one, make a connection. Make a connection with people. How do you feel? when someone compliments you. If you're anything like me, you feel pretty good when someone says something nice to you, right? I've approached complete strangers in the supermarket and complimented them about something, making it very genuine, of course. I love your sweater, that color's great on you. What a beautiful purse, where did you get it? Asking them questions, I usually get such a terrific response because it is likely nobody said anything nice to that person all day or maybe even all week. Another approach I love to use in the supermarket is simply ask them their recommendation about a particular brand or food. If I see that they have it in their cart, I can casually say, hey, I've been thinking about trying this and then get their recommendation. It's very similar to a compliment because I'm asking them and valuing their opinion. People aren't shy. So go ahead and try that. And number two, be a good listener. Here's the thing. Do you ever find yourself barely listening to the other person because you're looking for that moment when you can bring up your business or products? Looking for that opening. That is a bad approach. I've tried it. A person basically can tell when you're focused on them or you're in Never Never Land. So have no expectations from your conversation other than to make a new acquaintance. Once you understand that concept, prospecting strangers can be very simple. Can you imagine if you walked into a coffee shop and you sat down next to a stranger and said, hey, I'm in business, wanna join me? No, that would never work. You would introduce yourself, make a compliment, have some small talk, ask that person questions, and find out more about them while being a really good listener, right? And number three, when do you actually talk to the person about your business or product? First of all, you always want to be in a hurry, right? People are attracted to people who have a lot of stuff going on in their life. People aren't attracted to people who have nothing to do but sit around and do a whole lot of nothing. After your quick compliment and questions, you need a sense of urgency. You have to be on a call. You got to meet someone. You got to be somewhere, whatever it may be. I've got to run, but I just wanted to throw this out there. Would you be open to earning some extra money? Or you can say something like, I'm in an amazing business that holds real promise for my future. Do you know anyone that's ambitious and would be excited about adding another income stream to their lives? At this point, if a person is interested in learning more, get their contact information. Don't blab about your business right then and there. And then tell them you'll be in touch in the next couple of days. That's it. So there's your three tips today for prospecting strangers to build your business. It can be a lot of fun and it can also help you meet so many new people. It just takes practice. I started by approaching strangers with a compliment just in a store or wherever I happen to be. And then move on to questions and finally getting their contact information. Get good at the process and the results will come. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This is Lisa Jarrett. For more on prospecting strangers, check out a free training. I've got a link in the description for you. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you next time.